Have you ever wondered why most French women don't get fat? Hello and welcome again. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Welcome to all of you who are my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to be a part of this community, I would absolutely love to have you. I have gotten so many comments below my videos asking me what I eat, how I eat, how we can at our age after menopause maybe maintain weight. What I do and what I've done for a lot of years is I think like a French woman would do. I have learned to think about food and how I approach eating like French women. I have learned to enjoy my food instead of just using it to satisfy my hunger. That has helped me so much throughout my post-menopause years, believe it or not. The seven things I'm going to talk about today are things that you can easily do to think like a French woman and reevaluate how you think about food. The first one, we are inundated with fast food, aren't we? And when we go to a restaurant, they pile our plates with lots of food and we eat it because we paid for it. We're with people, we're having a great time. I have learned when I go to the grocery store, I avoid all processed foods. I buy fresh vegetables as often as I can. And if I can't find what I need in a fresh vegetable, I will buy it frozen and I just read the sodium content on it to be sure that there's not too much sodium in it because frozen food does contain sodium. But as long as it doesn't have any other ingredients, I'll try to purchase that. Try to eat French fresh. That's what I do. I make beautiful things out of all those fresh vegetables. We are what we eat. The second thing is what I do is I take those fresh vegetables and I make lots of salads. I'll have a salad for lunch. I always include a salad for dinner. So I am consuming a lot of these wonderful nutrients without all the calories that are involved. And it gives me bulk too besides all the wonderful antioxidants and nutrients that I'm getting, I'm getting bulk, so I don't get as hungry between meals as often as I would probably if I would eat something that would give me a sugar high and drop me down into the basement for a sugar low. So I try to take all of those vegetables and greens and make them into something that I can eat that will satisfy me. The third thing that we can do is to take your time while you're eating. Don't just shovel it in mindlessly while looking at your iPad or while watching television. Take time to enjoy the experience. My husband has gotten into the habit, especially during COVID, of sitting in front of the television and with a little tray table in front of him and eating his food mindlessly just eating. I decided that what we should do, keeping that French mentality in mind, I, every day now at dinner, I set a nice table just for two. I bring out my china and I use my silver all the time. I set a very warm, elegant little table and I bring out my tap and I play music and I have drawn Arthur off the couch to this little bistro setting that I set up every day. And we actually eat less, enjoy our food, linger longer, 
and have conversations instead of watching television while mindlessly shoveling in our food. Simple as that. Just set a table in your dining room if it's a table just for yourself. Make a nice place where you can eat and have a wonderful experience enjoying your food. You would be amazed at how easily you can do the next thing that I'm going to talk about. How easily you can enjoy that food by dining leisurely and when you're full, balance your intake. Number four, push away that food when you're full. If it's a big dessert and you've had a nice meal and you're really not that hungry but it looks so good and I'm a dessert person usually, take a couple of bites and if you are really full, you're not wasting it, push it away. Now this next one, number five, everyone may not be able to do. It depends upon your health, what medication you're using and how you feel about fasting. I fast once a week. I have my evening meal and then I don't eat again any solids until my meal the next day. I drink lots of water. I drink a big glass of water before I go to bed. And then when I wake up, I have teas, lemon water. Uh, once in a while, I'll have very clear broth, but I just only have clear liquids until my meal the next day. I know, as I said before, everyone can't do that, but I do it. And ever since I have been fasting, I think I've been feeling like I have more energy and I feel that my body is working more efficiently by fasting. Exercise is number six. We all know that we should exercise and I've talked about this a lot. I don't go to gyms. I'm not a gym person, you know. I just hate gyms. I hate exercising in front of people. My exercise, I walk the dogs. I try to walk as much as possible even without the dog maybe two miles a day or two and a half miles a day. Also, I lift weights. I do hand weights and that helps build up muscle. When you build up muscle, you're building up bone mass and you're burning calories. Another very easy way to exercise is to do push-ups push leaning against a wall or a door. And you know how to do that. You know, put your feet out a little bit, bend over, touch the wall and push yourself back and forth on the wall. Those are great exercises. If you are in a wheelchair, you can do your hand weights because everything that you do to help burn calories a little bit and to build up your muscle mass, that means you're building up bone mass too. Exercise is great for your heart. It's great for your wellness, your mental well-being, getting fresh air. And even though we're wearing masks today, we're getting out and we're getting everything moving. Exercise is so important. Being sedentary will shorten your life. Remember that. Being sedentary will shorten your life, and it's so easy if you have a bicycle at home. They even have the bikes that are just the foot pedal bikes that you can sit in a chair and just pedal in that foot pedal bike. Exercise is extremely important, whether you do it outside or inside, or if you love the gym, then you already uh, are an advocate of exercise. The last thing I do is I do monitor my weight. Because I'm not trying to lose weight, I'm at a very good weight. Once a month, I monitor my weight by stepping on a scale. If you're trying to lose weight, you know how often you want to monitor that. And it's up to you once a week and every three days, however you do it, but monitor your weight. These are the seven things that I do thinking French, how we can either lose weight or maintain weight, and most of all, how we can live a healthy life whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80. How you can, and after all, that's, that's what our goal is, isn't it? 
leading a happier and healthier life. And if you are happy when you look in the mirror, you like the way you look, you like the way you feel, then life is good. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you all have a very wonderful day doing something great for yourself. And as I always say, please be kind to everyone that you meet. And even if it's someone in your family, your dog, your cat, it doesn't matter. And let's all share the love. I hope to see you again in my next video. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. See you soon.